Iceland volcano. Huge plumes of toxic gas from the latest eruption are spreading across Europe, according to satellite data. A huge column of sulfur dioxide pumped out by an erupting volcano on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula is currently spreading across northern Europe. Scientists worry this could impact the ozone layer. Scientists are tracking a huge plume of toxic gas moving across northern Europe spewed by the ongoing volcanic eruption in Iceland. It is unlikely that the gas cloud will cause serious health problems. However, Experts warn that this could impact the ozone hole over the North Pole. On March 16, an underground volcano on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland exploded its peak for the fourth time in as many months, opening the largest fissure in the current eruption cycle and releasing a huge lava flow that narrowly missed the evacuated town of Grindavik. There were initially concerns that the lava flow could reach the ocean and release plumes of hydrochloric acid, which would be life-threatening to anyone near the coastline, live science previously reported. However, the lava never reached the coast. But the eruption released sulfur dioxide, a colorless, toxic gas that can be very dangerous in high concentrations. On March 17, the volcano emitted about 110 pounds 50 kilograms, of sulfur dioxide every second, according to a translated statement from the Icelandic Meteorological Office. Workers at the nearby Svartsengi power plant were evacuated from the facility due to high gas levels, Icelandic news site RUV reported, and local residents were temporarily warned to stay inside, according to Icelandic Civil Protection. Sulfur dioxide emissions have reduced significantly since March 18, but new data from the Copernicus Atmospheric Monitoring Service CAMS, part of the European Union's Copernicus program, which tracks weather and climate change using satellite data, shows that the initial outpouring of gas formed a concentrated column as high as 3 miles 5 kilometers, which then exploded towards other countries in northern Europe. The gas plume has passed the UK and is currently approaching Scandinavia. Where the gas will begin to dissipate before entering Russia. CAMS will continue to track the smoke, although we do not expect any impact to surface air quality or climate, CAMS senior scientist Mark Parrington said in a statement emailed to Live Science. However, Tracking sulfur dioxide emissions remains important because the gas can react with ozone molecules in the atmosphere, reducing the amount of protective substances in the ozone layer, which protects the Earth's surface from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays.